practice. And you're working, well, you're working well, 10 hours. I've been walking through these factories and mills and mines now for 15 months, and I frankly don't know how people stand it. For example, in, in one of the steel plants, I'm told the guys that walk on top of those coke ovens are walking on material that's 180 degrees hot. Yeah, they're, they're lifting lids where the temperature's 450 degrees hot, and that the incidence of cancer and heart disease and everything else is much higher there. Do you have conditions like that? And the... one incident. I'd like to say something. Uh, I install springs. Yeah. Compress them with the machine. This man does the same thing on the opposite side of the line. Now, when those springs seat, they pop. And I figure I'm going to be deaf if I keep on that job for five years. <laughs> is that right? The only reason it is loud is because those parts, those springs, are oversized. They're defective. This could be corrected, and they have never done it. And the so right it, spring, it's, they've it's, got it's, a it's, sense. They're, 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 well, uh, they're willing for an employee to go deaf. This man is a number, and this man is a number. And if we raise too much hell, we won't be there any longer. See, their whole purpose is to frighten him, me, you, scare everybody to work harder. When you work harder, you're still another number. If they throw him out because he didn't work harder, that scares me and you, so we work harder and do his job. They, the solder that they have, right on the label, it poisonous. reads that it is poisonous. Do you know how long it's taken us to get a blower system, which we still haven't got to protect these men? We still haven't got it. And in the meantime, this man is breathing this poison into his lungs. <coughs> 15,000 people killed in this country on the job, 15,000. That's as many as we lost in Vietnam in the worst year of the war. Nine million people injured in factories and mills and mines in this country, some of them uh, permanently uh, disabled. And in some states, if you're disabled for life after working for 20 years, the compensation is so low that you'd be better off never having worked and dumping your family on the welfare rolls. And that's the kind of thing we've got to correct. Senator, assembly line workers are the hardest workers in the world and is the most dehumanizing condition. They send you to school. We have, now, I'm only 23 years old, but when I went to high school, I had a good education. I had the option of taking high mathematics, high sciences, physics, geometry, and you know, all the way up. And then I come out of the service and I go into a plan here to get a job, not, not with the income that would make me get ahead in life, but just with the exact same amount of income that could make me get by, have children, and buy a color TV every five years <laughs> and breed new assembly line workers. This kind, of, this kind of act, or whatever you want to call it, is dehumanizing for a person. It's the same kind of dissatisfaction you've just expressed. It seems to me that what most people want who are capable to work is a good job. They, they, they want a job that doesn't turn them into a machine, turn them into an animal, that doesn't demean them as human beings. And secondly, they want a neighborhood that's halfway decent and pleasant. They, they don't want it strewn with garbage. They don't want drug addicts. They don't want crime to run rampant. Uh, thirdly, they want to be sure that if they get sick, they're going to be able to pay the bills. And that means some kind of comprehensive health insurance. And the fourth thing people are concerned about is their old age. They want to know when they reach that time in life that they're going to be taken care of. And that's why I think we have to improve these retirement benefits and provide so that we can look forward to that time in our lives with some confidence, some sense of security, because we're all going to be old someday. McGovern. Right from the start.